An explosion rips apart SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule now, nearly three months after that failed test, answers to what may have caused the problem. News 6's Eric Sandoval heard from SpaceX and from NASA officials today. He is in Cape Canaveral tonight with the latest. The Crew Dragon capsule is SpaceX's answer to putting humans back into space. So finding out what caused that explosion last April was vital. They put together a team. They retraced all of their steps. And just two weeks ago, they say they found the culprit, a leaky valve. Up until now, there were only educated guesses as to what may have caused this orange-colored smoke you see rising over Cape Canaveral. Tonight, SpaceX and NASA tell News 6 it was caused by a valve leak during a static fire test. They say a liquid oxidizer entered the Crew Dragon capsule's propulsion system. They say it ignited and destroyed it. There were a couple, a couple of clues early on, and we worked on them, performed some extra testing, and confirmed the, uh, the result that if you push the slug into the uh, check valve, um, it, it creates basically an explosion. Hans Koenigsmann says SpaceX is now changing those valves to a system which he says creates a more reliable seal. This will help us fly safer. NASA's Kathy Leaders says lessons were learned. She says the SpaceX's first scheduled crew, astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley, have been part of this investigation. The crew office obviously has been following along. Um, they, Bob and Doug visit SpaceX often. They have their office hours out there and they've been briefed multiple times. Now SpaceX says they are not ruling out this year to send those astronauts back into space, but a couple things need to be done first, namely an abort test. That has not been scheduled yet. We'll let you know when it is. We're at SpaceX tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Eric, thank you. Our space coverage continues in just a matter of hours. Celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch with News 6 tomorrow. Our day-long coverage begins at 5 a.m. We have so many cool things to show you, including my tour of the old shuttle landing facility. It now has a new name and a purpose. And yes, I got to drive a brand new Corvette <laughs> to explain how it's being transformed. All scientific purposes, right, Lisa. Right, of course. It was Looks all business scientific. out there. I yes. had no fun. Now, from the historic missions to new adventures, stick with News 6 on air tomorrow. We have a lot of cool stuff planned for you. Head to our special section of our website. Also, clickorlando.com slash moon landing. Has a lot of great information. We love it. And also on our website, you can share your memories if you were around That's watching right. it 50 years ago. So many people still looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. I was on a flight from L.A. to Orlando yesterday. I think half the plane was just coming here. Coming here for all of those to celebrations. Enjoy this. It's yeah. going to be fascinating. Mm -hmm. All right, new tonight.